This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome right back here with another episode of Threads of Fate. In the last episode, we dealt with Wheelif and got beaten by Trapmaster, but luckily we were able to escape with uh, just our tail between our legs, but uh, we'll beat him next time. Anyway, let's keep moving around. The brooch is beautiful. It looks old, but sparkles so brilliantly. I'll pay you 4,000 for it. Nah, that's all right. Really, that's too bad. It would have made a perfect gift. Uh, yeah, you can either give it to him and get the 4,000, or, I think I mentioned this before, you could give it to the girl at the, uh, bar for a discount on, on stuff, so we'll, we'll decide what to do with that later. Guess what? Something cool happened. Those hoodlums trying to shoplift at Tonio's store, but Graham was in the store when he happened to beat him up real bad. Tonio, he's a there. Oh, good day. And there's, uh, the other dude. You know, that woman, Mira. I think I saw her a long time ago in the Martial Arts Championship. She was just like the swordsman who won the champion. Now they talk about like her, what she did or what she used to do, but yet we never really truly get to see her actually utilize her weapons throughout the game. Oh well. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go talk to Annette. I think they talk about how you can give her the the brooch if you want to. Uh, let's, I thought maybe. Oh, there it is. Wow, that's a really cute brooch. Where did you get it? I found that Gamble Forest. I thought it was worse than that at first, but it's just a piece of junk. Worthless. Well, if you don't want it, can I have it? And then, yeah, if we give her... No, darn. Finger's real great. I wish I could be like her. But yeah, you get like half off the drinks or something like that, which... I don't even remember. Milk uh, restores your SP. Rupee or Tropical Delight. I almost never utilize them. It, it, maybe they just heal more of those things, but it's so easy to get that anyway, so. And as far as I know, it doesn't change anything in the story other than, you know, her giving you a permanent discount on that, so. I usually just uh, sell it to Markham here. Okay. I, I If you uh, don't give it to him the first time, he sells it for, or if you give it if you reject him, he goes from 4,000 to 6,000. As far as I know, you can't get higher than that, so... Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll go and sell it. Thank you very much. If you find more unusual articles, please let me know. I think that's the only article we actually run into throughout the whole game, so... Oh, well. Alright, anyone else think I knew a thing before we head out? I heard Primadol doesn't have enough energy. What can we do? Oh, oh, I know! Oh, that's the special... I think I remember talking to her about that last time, so... Alright. I guess not. But yeah, I feel like selling it's better than getting half-off drinks or whatever, because I never utilize them anyway, so... Um, right. Had to think for a second where I was... I was supposed to go again. <laughs> and... Or, I was like, wait a minute, because the last episode we, we fought, you know, beat Wyeth, got got Prima Doll, or at least found out a bit more about him, and then uh, and then um, uh, and then uh, beat Tra and the Trap Master beat us, which I didn't, I didn't, I'd forgotten that he has like an alternate scene if you uh, lose him and whatever. Not every boss has it, but some do. Uh, Good man, what brings you here today? Oh, let me guess, you finally decided to give up on the relic. No way. What makes you think I'd give up on the relic? Oh, you haven't been to listen yet. It'll hit you soon and then you'll quit. <laughs> yeah, mints all, a lot of things, but she ain't a quitter. At least her attitude doesn't dictate that. I'll never quit. My father always taught me to finish where I start. Did, what happened to him? Did he just die of old age? So, or no, did Wait, isn't she the one? Isn't he the, actually? Isn't he the one that gave the kingdom to your sister, and not you, because of your attitude? No wonder you're so stupid. So what can I do for you? Oh yeah, I want to talk to you about Primadol. Primadol, is there something wrong with him? Well, exposition done. <laughs> End scene. I see. I must say that is quite odd. Don't tell me. We need more items. Yep. It wouldn't be a, any adventure, RPG, whatever without, you know, fetch quest. I don't think so. What? You lie. 
the ambulance is the last thing it needs. Maybe the internal injury and stress system completely radiated it. After all, it was made several hundred years ago. Stress system radiated? I <laughs> like her little, like, really look. What does that mean? Oh, it just means that's low one energy. What? Just give him a Klondike bar or something. Or, I don't know. Oh. The way it is now, I don't think we could to break the seal. Are you serious? Is there anything we can do? Actually, there may be a way. It's kind of a rough way, and I can't guarantee anything. But I think it's worth a try. Heck, I don't care. Let's try it. So what do I have to do? Hug and kiss him all day long. And if all the kids... What? Those are kids. Those look like... Uh, could, those look like eldritch horrors to me. Uh, or... Uh, those are weird funny things. Actually, it involves their brother. His name is Goraton. He has a bit to control lightning. Lightning, eh? Was he like a Pikachu or something like that? He uses power. I'm pretty sure he can remember Supreme does energy. Goraton? Where can I find him? Lose around the city. Ask the kids outside and then to you. Okay. Your attack is pretty violent, so be careful, okay? Then again, it might serve you well to take a beating once in a while to keep ripping your track. I've already lost a couple times in this game uh, to alt and have alternate endings to those scenes, so I think I th she's like the energizer, but she just keeps going and going and going. Hey, no, you goes fine, thank you. Alright, let's go outside and uh, see what they have to say about it. We're not playing any games. Okay. Yep, come on. Goraton! Don't know Goraton! Forget Goraton! Play with my ball! More fun! No. Please, God, no. Goraton! Goraton's somewhere here! Goraton, me! Not fun! My trip, but more fun! Let's play! No. I don't want to do such things. Hi, Mint! Hi, Mint! Remember me? You saved me from bullies of forest! Hey, how are you? Goody! Told me less more near this atelier. Goraton, I know, big bully. Really? Where is he now? Want to play Goraton now? Wait, what? Want to play Goraton now? Sure, of course. I take her there. Good luck, Mint. Mm. Yeah, not gonna play your little reindeer games. Thank you very much. Oh, they're not that bad. I, I, I you know, but still, I'd rather. Uh, <laughs> The platforming for me on this game isn't perfect, so it gets a little annoying. This is Goraton, he looks so weak. This is gonna be too easy. What the? What do you do? Huh? What's that sound? Whoa! Cheshire Cat's dangerous more older brother. Dang, it's huge. Uh-oh. It's boss time against Goraton himself. I forgot how we're supposed to... Nope, not close to Ah, nuts. Hit me with magical lightning! Whoa! Oh, oh crap, I'm not even. I can shoot balls of lightning! Oh. There you go. Ah! Oh, actually, I assume in this case, magic is probably more better. Yeah, it's doing more damage than that. Best to just hit him with light there. Hit him with something. I don't even. Actually, I don't even know. I don't even know if uh, my magic is, uh, is uh, or this magic I'm using. This one is the one I use. I'll use multiple lightning bolts on me. You fiend! All you had to do was just have a cool winter breeze. Whee! Here, hey, what's this? Part, part yellow magic for Goraton. Yay, we can do lightning. It is! Nice! With this magic, we might be able to do something for our Prima Ball's energy. Oh yeah, instead of, uh... I think, uh, doesn't Rue turn into Goraton? Yeah, I think he turns into Goraton to give him the energy, but in this case, we just turn magic for Mint. Alright, time to head back. So instead of, uh, so instead of having a Pokeball Goraton or whatever, we just, uh, get his magic and... Oh yeah, I can swap out magic on on the screen anyway. And, uh, oh, those ones are charged to seal across the store. The beer caught them, you know, real bad. <laughs> I went to Klaus's shop. They carry a lot of nice antiques, but I don't think those shops do too well. Klaus, does he actually do anything or sell anything? I, I didn't think he did. All right, I was just seeing if anyone else was was running around. 
Let's go talk to Claus and power up the Prima Doll with the power of lightning. Lightning, boom, bang, crash. Yeah. You ready? Here it comes. She's got. She's really got a joy of like zapping. Him. Oh. Whoa. Whee. We could do that a few more times, man, if you want to. Man, she's so excited about what she's done that her hair's clipping through her through her hat. Magical. Well, that was rather violent. <laughs> yeah, you gotta say that to. Say that twice. That just really didn't hit me. I mean, uh, lightning would conduct, but most of the fours would anyway, so. How do you feel, Prima Doll? Dot, dot, dot. Maybe that was too much. Well, you did shock him three times with a bolt of lightning, which is, you know, 1.21 gigawatts, apparently. Ouch! Dang, that was dumb. Oh, I got a little carried away. I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I could cry. Does that mean? Yeah. I'm overflowing with energy. Thank you, Klaus. Hey, you're supposed to be thinking me? Gosh, why are you so loud? Why don't you take a pill and relax? Chill pill. <laughs> oh, that's it. Looks like you haven't, ha you haven't had enough. I think you could use a bigger shock. No! No, no, come on, Mint. Hey, he started it. How old are you again? He's just enter- no. He's just energetic. Actually, I think Mint's only supposed to be like 16 or, or 17 or something like that. Most most character, most heroes in a lot of these games are usually like young teenagers. Now that he feels better, I'm sure he can break the seal. Yeah, I guess. How much longer is it going to take to finish the amulet? I'm getting there. I apparently am a jeweler, too. I should be done pretty soon. <laughs> Once the amulet is finished, the relic will be mine. Now you just need to work on your uh, evil villain laugh or world domination laugh because he 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 isn't really a good you know villain laugh. Gee, you sound so evil. What? Did you say something? What? I didn't say anything. You you little. Yeah, try to get along with him, okay? Well, let Barry get back to finishing the amulet. Klaus, please hurry. If you don't finish soon, I might have strangle him. I think strangling kids is a crime somewhere. She's cursed, or she's cursed, or mad, or something like that. Klaus has been working nonstop. I hope he's all right. Once the amulet's finished, I'll break the seal. You better appreciate it, Mint. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm so happy to see Primadol full of energy. Good. I think it's a good idea to take Primadol and try and show her out. You really? You want to have Mint do that? Are you sure? Uh, I mean, you know, it's Mint. You know, be kind of been uh, back and forth with Prima Doll for like the whole game, or not only, the whole interaction with them, so she's not really the biggest fan of, of him in the first place. Oh, well, I guess we gotta wait for, wait for, uh, let me take a look, couple look at the obvious places before we go, uh, we said take a uh, Prima Doll out somewhere, so... No, oh, it's the it's Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> what? That's them? Oh, it's you. What the heck are you doing here? It's none of your business. Oh, I get it now. You plan to attack me while I'm in town and steal my stuff? Ugh, you got not you got to be kidding me. You're not a big sneak like you. I don't buy it. I'm gonna take care of you both right now. Right in the bar? That's not cool, dude. Ah, shut up and listen for a change. We're going to go after we're, we're through going after you. You leave us alone and we'll leave you alone. Why don't you think we gave the tiara back to Rue? Yeah, we were all surprised by that. So how come you're all buddy buddy with Rue now? Are you trying to cheat him or what? That's what you were trying to do, dude. Well, she's just mad because, you know, they did it first. We're not backstoppers like you! We're not buddies with him or anything. It's just that we found out why he's searching for the relic. And we felt bad about getting in his way after that. Really? Dang, I'm really curious now. Tell me what he told you. What? Rui hasn't told you anything. No, nothing at all. I'll be damned. Listen, he's... Milady, stop! I don't think it's right for us to talk about it. 
you're, you're right. And you hate men, don't you? But you can't just leave me hanging like this. Come on, tell me. Stop being so nosy. Maybe I'll probably tell you when the time comes. All right, let's go, Duke. Yes, my lady. Hey, wait. Mm, I got away. Darn kids. Anyway. All right, time to. Uh, I think it's time to go back to. Uh, Prima doll, I think, because we deal. Uh, I don't think anyone else has any scenes. I remember. I guess I could double check with Rod, but I think I think Mint or Bell and Duke are the only ones with uh, any interaction at this moment. I think uh, Rod just has his. Nah, do that later. And apparently, Rod's stats do increase every time you beat Rod. Apparently, he does get stronger. Because I've noticed, like, I off screen I fought him like three times in a row and. At first he did like one damage, and the next time I fought him he was doing like like three damage, and the next time he was doing seven damage. And that was just regular attacks, not like, you know, crazy moves or crits or anything like that. So he does relatively get stronger, so you can't really grind on him forever. You can only do it for so long before it starts becoming kind of pointless, or it's not worth the effort. Okay, I guess. Oh. Those, uh, I wanted to ask you something. Did those hoodlums give me some kind of challenge? I would stay away from them if I were Well, I already fought them, and Trapmaster almost beat me. Uh, okay, I guess we need to go outside now. I want, I want to play outside. Okay. So, with that out of the way, now we go to... Now we just need to choose the... Well, choose anywhere. No, uh, I think we have to choose the right side. Is where we're supposed to go to play... With Prima Doll, quote unquote. Unless it automatically chooses where we go, so. Alright. At least if I remember correctly, that's where I'm supposed to take him. Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, there's Elaine and Rui. Huh. I think they talked about something about going to the lakeside. Hi, Mint. Hey, what are you guys doing here? It's a beautiful day, so we decided to come out for a walk. Why'd you look at each other like that? Dang, what's the matter with you? I'm taking care of stuff left and right, all you're doing is playing around. Oh, please, don't get mad, Mint. Pretty soon I won't get to see either of you anymore. Why, uh, why do you say that? After all, you both came to Corona look for the relic. After you get it, I'm sure you'll even go somewhere far away. Yeah, because Elena or Mint wants to go take over her kingdom, and Rui wants to go back to wherever, wherever he wants to go. Thing, you know, he seems like a wonder, a, a lonely wonder. He's around, 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 and then or something like that. I know I'll miss you both very much. I think we knew each other that well, but I mean, she is simple-minded, so what? Okay, I guess maybe you had a heart-to-heart -heart or something. Mint, what are you gonna do once you find the relic? Take over the world, of course. Of course! Ah, uh, Raul Julia, you were the man among men. With a relic, it should be a piece of cake. What about you, Rue? I. Wait, I guess. After you get your wish for that relic, you're gonna. Go back, oh, go back to your home and right? in Corona. Well, sounds like Homeland or whatever, right? That, that choice doesn't really matter, by the way. Go back to your home, right? Yeah, that's what I'm planning. You live a quiet life. Dang, how boring. Boring with a capital B. Really? I think it's a great idea. I can't imagine Rui leading a life of violence like you meant. <laughs> well, it doesn't say more about her than anything, right? Who are you calling violent? Yeah, this is the lady who drop kicks people at the drop of a hat, so... So, there's someone waiting for you back home? Um, yeah. Really? Is that your girlfriend? Rui doesn't seem like one of those guys that would get, like... Like, if someone says, oh, is it your girlfriend? And, the, and you know, usually a character's like, no! It's like, actually... Anyway. Girlfriend? Really? Yeah, you're jealous, Elena. You know you've been trying to hit on Rui. No! Oh, he did do it. Dang it, game. Come on, man. It's pretty obvious, right? Yeah, he's so surprised as his little uh, headband or whatever is clipping through his uh, ponytail. Marvelous. Who is it? Um, she's like a sister to me. 
Oh, sure. Hi. It sounds fishy. Oh my god, she looked at the camera when she says that. Well, anyway, she's waiting for you to come home, right? Actually, she isn't home right now. What? I made her wait for so long. Hey. Sorry, I'm not making any sense, huh? Not at all. What do you mean you've made her wait for so long? Let's talk about this after we find that relic. Yeah, how's the doctor doing? Is uh, Has he finished making an amulet? Mm, I think it'll take a bit longer. Oh, I think we'll head back to town. Let's go, Elena. Okay. See you later, Mint. Bye, Mint. There they go, the lovebirds. Oh, I mean... Sounds like it's gonna take a while until the... Oh, sounds like it's gonna take a while until the amulet's finished. I guess I'll go check up on Klaus. Yeah, uh, amulets don't go around making themselves. They've gotta, they've gotta be made. You know, takes a. Isn't a jeweler that usually makes jewelry and stuff like that, right? I don't remember any other profession doing it. The only thing I've ever made when it comes to my hands is like leatherwork stuff when I was in the Boy Scouts. There is something kind of mildly uh, uh, entertaining and. and uh, just worthwhile to make something yourself. I didn't say I was any good at it, but making a lot of the work stuff, but it's still cool. Hey, Mint. Look, look. I'm fully recharged now. I feel great. I feel great. <laughs> Trademark copyright line. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? I don't see any difference. You're as jumpy and silly as ever. Okay, Mint, if you had a tenth of my intelligence, you'd see a lot more. You little... Hey, hey, you two are sure... <laughs> you two are sure get along. That's what you call getting along? Are you the same guy who likes likes relationships and, and stories when the two characters like are mad or yell at each other? And you think they'll make the perfect couple? Yeah, because that will work in old age and later on in your life. Anyway. Yeah, right. I'm dying to strangle him. God, you remind me of Homer. Or, uh, I should No, Calvin's dad never did that. So, Homer from The Simpsons. Why, you little. Gee, how can someone, anyone be so violent? Here, I'll show you. <laughs> and you go straight to violence. Yeah, proving his point. No, no, calm down, Mint. Why didn't you come here anyway? Is it about the amulet? Huh? Oh, yeah. How's the amulet coming? It's coming along well. I'm just about finished. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yay! I can't wait. You're telling me. What's up with Mint staring at the break of the fourth wall there? Hehe, <laughs> once the amulet's ready, Pre will be able to break the seal. Then the relic will be mine. <laughs> oh, I've waited for so long. Hey, you better not screw up. Yeah, yeah. So, what do these roads look like? You don't know. Primo doll hasn't been out of town yet. Hey, why don't you take them to the lakeside? You can see the ruins from there. No way. Oh, come on. Why not? Live a little. After all the things you said to me, forget it. Okay, fine. I don't feel like breaking the seal anymore. <gasps> ah, he's got, he's got you. Exclamation point. Good luck getting the relic. You little. Why you little? I used my why you little too early. Fine, jeez. Yay! <laughs> not like not like why you little is a catchphrase of mine or anything like that, but yeah. I'm happy. To see, I'm happy. To see, bring it up. Oh, so you gonna repeat your lines? And, uh, oh, uh, he says something about Elena and Rue getting along. Uh, okay, Prima. Da, 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 da. I was just saying what dialogue resets or repeats or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of weird how in Rue's path it's uh, uh, Mint and Elena who get to who get to know each other, while in Mint's path it's the other way around. Well, I gotta give the other character doing something in between what the main character's doing. You're going outside of town. Don't go too far, okay? <clears throat> oh, right, I keep forgetting people have multiple dialogues. I gotta... Not, I don't think she'll say anything. Oh. Ah, oh, come on, I wanna talk to the... I wanna talk to the hottie Mira over there. No! Okay. It was just... It was just glitching because it was... He was in the line of... Um... Don't stay out too late. Is that it? Just the two lines of dialogue? Huh. 
For someone who's supposed to pre apparently been an adventurer or whatever in a previous life, you think she'd have a lot more to do or say in the story. What a what a cute little boy. Uh, what's what's his name? My name's Rima Doll, and I'm not a little boy. Oh, s sorry about that. Anything else to say? Oh, quit quit jumping into the line of text, Doll. If you know anything good, let me know. I, I just came back from the forest. I ran out of there as soon as I saw a monster. Wow, what it was. Okay, here's me. Anyone else around here? Oh. Oh, you're babysitting this boy. Uh, that's great. Uh, here, why don't you two buy something with this? Thanks for the fifty gold, I guess. What a spirit you lad. Okay. Hey, who's this? My name's Freeman Doll. Well, that's a cool name. Hey, let's play sometime. Okay. <laughs> cool name, huh? What do you like? Like people name themselves Northwest and all that? Anyway. Alright, uh, does Ron have anything to say? I don't think so. And then we'll go to Lakeside. Let's see. Uh, oh. Um, oh, are you here to fight? Uh, you're looking after kid, huh? Come back when you're done. Mint, who is this guy? Oh, well, he's just a bum. What'd you call me? <laughs> that giant wolf. He's my best pal. Johnny Wolf, that's a great name. Right, this guy is, baby. Yeah, the best name of things. Do you say anything else? Alright. Come back over to the place. Okay, now we can do it all side. No one else really has anything. We're, oh, and the dog was following us on the way out. If you, you can barely see it on, on the screen or whatever. So. Alright, let's take a look at these ruins. See what, uh, see what this is all about. Even though we were there earlier, you know, with, uh, with Rue and uh, Elena. Now we're here with a uh, mint and uh, prima doll. I can't believe I'm babysitting this brat. Wow, oh, it's so warm and comfortable out here. Why is that? Why? Because the sun's out. Well, not everyone knows that. Jeez. Oh yeah, I've been trapped inside the cold box all this time. I never knew the outside. That's right, you thought you knew everything. Well, now you know not to talk so big all the time. Yeah. Dang, did I hear him right? Y you okay, dude? Okay. Mint, let's race. Huh? Let's have a, uh, let's have a race to the life side. Forget it. Come on, you're, now you're afraid I'm, go I'm going to beat you, huh? What? I could beat you any day. Well, let's see then. Fine, let's go. You better not or you better not cheat. Speak for yourself. What is men, so on your mark or on your mark, get set. Go! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that should be about even. Or I think you won because I Oh. Or I guess I won. I don't know. But we were about... Uh, the only reason he was, like, close is because I had to turn slightly because, you know, I was leaning towards the other way. But anyway, well, you're fast. Hee <laughs> hee. I told you I beat you. Wow, you beat a kid. So proud of you, Mint. Anyway, I thought you'd say that. You're so predictable. What? You brat. Hey, there are lake... Uh, there are the lake ruins. So that's where the relic is. It'll be mine once you break the seal. Tank, I can't wait to get it. Well, don't, uh, you, you want it so badly, you want to marry this relic, huh? What will you do when you get it? What do you think? We're going to conquer the world. Oh, so you're so lucky to conquer the world? What do you mean by lucky? You are. You have something to do after you get the relic. I don't. Huh? Aeon's Relic. I was born, I was created to unlock the seal on the relic. That's it, that's my only duty in life. <laughs> what is your, uh, what is my function to pass butter? And, that's it, all you do is pass butter, butter for your, the rest of your life. Oh lord. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I'm just a tool. Well, I mean, you act like a tool, so. A key to open the door to the relic. Well, you could be like the band tool, I guess. After you get that relic, I'll be of no use and, yep, thrown in the scrapyard. I'll be nothing. Oh, don't feel 
Don't feel too bad if we fix you up. You could be a piece of junk. What was that for? Or, what was that for? You deserved it. I don't want to hear you whining anymore. You got that? You're not a tool. I mean, you perform a function, so technically you're a tool. But, but I'm just a doll created to recover the relic. Or, relic. Hey, if you were a tool, you wouldn't be crying. I mean, you could... I mean, I'll admit, if I saw my wrench cry, that'd freak me out a bit. You would, uh, you would just do your job. You could, you would do just, you would just do your job and that's it. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, you have a way with, way with kids, huh? Mint. What a crybaby. I would hate to see ma, I would hate to say Mint as a mother. Ooh, boy. Dot, dot, dot. Her raising a kid, like a little hellion like herself. Ooh, boy. Um. You're right, I'm not a tool. Dang, I'm getting sleepy. I'm getting tired of babysitting you. Come on, let's go back to town. Hey, Mint. What? Um, thanks. Maybe you won't mess with her anymore? Actually, I hope you do, because it's kind of entertaining to have you mess with Mint on a quite regular basis, if you know what I mean. Well... We didn't really make too much major progress today, but we gave a boy a, a chance to survive this encounter, or to go past this encounter, survive out, it's like he was in danger or something like that, to get past this encounter and to become more of who he is after he uh, performs the relic. But what, uh, will it just be as easy peasy Gary Teasy as we, as we uh, get the amulet and get to the lakeside ruins? Find out next time in the next episode of Threads of Fate. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.